Okay, welcome back. I'm gonna be doing, why can't I be like a normal vlogger? I'm like immediately scratching my head. I'm like, hey guys, welcome back. <coughs> All right, so look, I can acknowledge that my hair looks really bad today, but I, I, I just can't do it today. I can't, okay? So can we just like pretend that this is like punk rock and cool instead of like, I just woke up? Cause like I've been awake. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing, as you can tell from the title, a full face using drugstore makeup only. I haven't done, have I ever done, I think I have done this before, but not in a really, really, really long time. I've gotten a few requests, but not really, so um, I hope you guys are into this. You know, I'm not really a drugstore makeup kind of person, um, and I know a lot of people exclusively buy their makeup there, and so I thought maybe it would be interesting to do like a whole face using drugstore makeup because it's not like high-end makeup is better or worse than, than drugstore makeup. There is like really good quality drugstore makeup out there. Might I add it is getting increasingly more expensive. Like it's kind of crazy. I spent a hundred dollars at CVS and granted like that hundred dollars would not have gotten me nearly as much at Sephora but still kind of insane. So I have all of the stuff I got here. It was really fun um, going around shopping because I haven't, like I said, bought, like I, I get like drugstore things here and there, but um, but I don't really do like makeup shopping at CVS. Just because like I'm like a makeup psycho, like I go to like Sephora all the time, I buy makeup all the time. If I was also buying my makeup every time I went to the damn pharmacy, like this would be a full blown problem. So um, most of it is things that I bought and some of it is things that were sent to me. And none of this is sponsored. I plan this video on my own. No one knows that I'm doing it. Meaning like makeup brands. Like no, no one knows. Don't tell anybody. I'm on like Revlon, Rimmel, and CoverGirl's PR list. So I do get stuff sent from them regularly. So um, I have a couple of those mixed in here too, just to show you guys. But most of the things I'm gonna show you are things that I bought. I have my, 20,000 mile long receipt. So um, for the things that I bought, I'll be able to tell you guys how much it costs. So if you guys are excited for this, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, but let's get into it. So for skin, I have two options here. Both of these were sent to me and I'm not sure which one to use. This one is CoverGirl called Skin Milk. It has a nourishing foundation with coconut milk and aloe extract, and it has a dewy finish. So I think this is gonna be like a tinted moisturizer type deal. Um, it says it blurs imperfections, evens out skin tone, and it's a sheer buildable coverage, and it's hydrating. And it's vegan and formulated without talc, parabens, formaldehyde, mineral oil, fragrance, like all that stuff. So I'm leaning, ow, oh my God, it's also really pointy. I'm leaning towards this just based on everything it says because I don't want to break out because my skin's pretty clear right now. Um, but then Revlon also sent me this, which is kind of exciting to me. It's the Photo Ready Candid Glow Moisture Glow Anti-Pollution Foundation. And it's a tube, but has a little pump, which looks exciting to me. Buildable coverage foundation with prickly pear oil, antioxidant, anti-pollution, and ingredients that help block blue light, no fragrances, or synthetic dyes. Uh, let's do like a little test here. Mm, I might have to use the other one because this is really light. I feel like I can make it work though. It does feel hydrating. It's definitely like a really sheer coverage. All right, now let's try the cover girl. This one feels thinner. So definitely a better color match. I'm gonna do the cover girl just because the color looks better and it feels like thinner. And I'm just gonna use my fingers. Um, but this color is like pretty much spot on for me. This really interested me when they sent it to me because I love anything, like I'm not like a, I'm rarely a foundation person, like I'm more of like a light coverage, tinted moisturizer. Why did I say that weird tinted? This looks quite nice on the skin if I do say so myself. The color is like spot on. I'm, this is the shade 520 Fair. So for concealer, I got this uh, L'Oreal True Match 
super blendable multi-use concealer and I got this because I've really been wanting like almost like a touche eclat like the YSL but like like a light reflecting pen almost just for like every day for when you're not like doing makeup but just want like to brighten up the under eyes my allergies have been bad lately and so my darkness is pretty um intense right now so that's why I got this I swatched it on my hand so I've already like twisted it up but I haven't used it on my face yet and this was $12.99 so I'm just gonna swipe this like under and then just use my finger to blend it in and I'm hoping this will just like kind of look undetectable but just give me like a bright under eye that looks a lot better than I thought it was gonna going to look it has like a decent amount of coverage I would say like almost medium pleasantly surprised i'll definitely use this again okay for brows i have a couple products here rimmel sent me these um brow pens it's called brow pro micro 24 hour pen and this pen is not seeming promising to me like it's kind of thick i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get like those tiny little brush strokes but we're gonna see what happens Okay, I'm kind of eating my words right now because it's a lot better than I thought. Um, it's a lot more subtle and I was able to do, like using the very tip, do like little tiny baby lines. My only complaint is that it really dries out. It's like you gotta kind of like shake it and do like a bunch of lines on your hands to like redistribute the product, which is really annoying. So I really like that if it wasn't for, like look at this tip, it's like, can you guys see it's like white? There's like no product in the tip. Like you have to like. So the next product, this is a product that I bought is the e.l.f. Wow Brow in neutral brown. It's a volumizing fiber gel. And I've heard that this is a dupe for Glossier's boy brow. And I am like a boy brow diehard fan. If this is a dupe, that's huge because this is only five dollars compared to boy brow which I can't I don't know how much boy brow is like 12 16 so this is what it looks like it's pretty similar in size to the boy brow the brush is different like boy brows brush is like a lot smaller and I can see the fibers actually let me show you something let me see if I can capture that on camera can you guys see those little fibers Not to be rude, but whoever said that this was a dupe for boy brow is crazy. It's not bad. It's just like, it reminds me, it does not remind me of boy brow at all. The, it feels like, like I'm not putting any product on. And also like the actual product is so watery, whereas like boy brow is more of like a thick pomade. You can build it up because of the fibers, but like, I don't know you guys. It's nice, it's like $5, it's worth it, but like, not a dupe. I would say dupe. But my brows look really good, I, I actually like that. They look kind of dark, darker than I normally do them, but, but good nonetheless. Okay, for eyeshadow, I got Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is in the shade Urbanite, and this was $8. 29. It looks like this. It looks like a dusty rose kind of color and um, that's right up my alley. So I'm just going to apply this with my fingers and tap it on. If this looks nice, I mean this is like the kind of color I like to wear during the day. Just like something kind of nondescript that just gives a little bit of something. That's actually really pretty. I know it looks like kind of like nothing, but that's like exactly what I'm going for. Like anytime I wear eyeshadow during the day, I always feels like it's too much. Um, I really like something to just look like almost my lid color, but better. You know, there's my lips, but better. There should be a my lid, but better. I'll show you guys this. I really like the color. If you're like a, a medium 
or darker skin tone i don't think this would show up this is more for like like a transition color or for like someone who has like really fair skin um but they had like a whole range of colors in these and um some were matte some were shimmery and this color is just like what spoke to me because i knew this is like exactly what i'm always looking for as far as the texture these feel nice they like are definitely a cream but they don't feel like too slippy like it feels like it will kind of dry down to like a nice finish we'll see i didn't use a primer for these so we'll see how these wear but so far i really like this okay for mascara i picked up the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise because i've heard so many things about this mascara and i'm really excited to try it from like high school to early to mid 20s i exclusively used a l'oreal mascara and i forget which one it was called um it was like a double ended mascara and i don't know if they still make it and i didn't use the there was like a primer and a mascara on the other end and i didn't use the primer i just liked the mascara part and um i don't know i just stopped using it i got into you know the chanel mascaras and stuff and I've, i never looked back so i'm actually i have high hopes for this and this was how much 549 but it says, oh, I got it on sale. I think that was what, buy one, get one 50% off with something else. So it looks like the original price was $10.99. So this is what the brush looks like. It's kind of like an hourglass shape. Like it gets like narrow in the middle, but it's like a thicker wand than I'm used to. I really like kind of like a thin wand, but we'll see. Am I okay? I just realized, like, I really have good vision, but I just noticed that I was literally putting my mascara on in the mirror this close to my face. <laughs> That's, um, crazy. Okay, so, I don't know what to think yet. I felt like this mascara could be build it, built up, meaning, like, it didn't dry so fast that, like, I couldn't keep putting coats on. Um, does it look... Do my lashes look like insane? No. But they but they look good. It was nice. Um, the brush was a little too thick to get into like this corner here. I felt like I was struggling. But I feel like this is something I'll want to try again in like a week. Because some you know when like a new mascara just never looks that good. Like the formula is like too wet and sometimes it needs to dry out just like a little bit in order to get that volume. Um, I just scared the shit out of myself. I just saw the reflection of this in my, my mirror right here on my desk and I thought it was a person's head peeking out behind me. Anyway, I'm not writing it off yet, but I will revisit this mascara in order to make my final decision. Again, what's happening? I think this is just how I like to do my mascara for some reason, just like holding the mirror two inches away from my face. I'm really liking this concealer. Like, it looks really good. Um, okay, so mascara. I'm not gonna do any on the bottom lashes because the formula is so wet right now. I feel like it's just gonna be a disaster zone down there. So let's move on. Okay, so I did pick up some powder just in case it was going to be like a dewy situation because I have some powder products and sometimes if like the foundation's like too wet then the powder like blush or bronzer or whatever on on top looks bad and you have to like kind of matte it down but this actually dried down to like a really natural finish but i still bought this so i'll use a little bit of it even though like i'm not a huge powder person i just use it for the purpose of what i just said um but this is by nyx and it's the hd studio photogenic finishing powder and i think this is supposed to be similar to like you know, that uh, Makeup Forever HD powder, um, do people, is that still like a thing that people use? I remember when that came out years ago, I was like big heavy into it. But this is like what it looks like and I wonder if it feels the same because it had that like slippy silicone feeling. So let's see. Yeah, it feels just like that. Oh, oh, oh my God. Okay, so I just like dumped it into the lid. These holes are so big and it just like all came out i'm just gonna take like i'm flinging the powder off the tiniest bit and just just on the cheeks 
oh my god okay this is a mess just kind of like on the cheeks and where I'm gonna put like bronzer and blush just a little I want to see if you can see this powder okay you can't see it at all it doesn't feel like powdery either okay so aside from the packaging my god oh did I tell you how much this was this is $10.99. Everything at the drugstore is $10.99. So for bronzer, I got this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer. Physicians Formula has like really cool looking products. Like this is like so like this is not my vibe. Like I'm like what is going on? But like it smells like the beach. And that's really pretty like the product just looks gorgeous like I'm not into the packaging and all of that stuff but like oh what's this oh it comes with a brush and a mirror okay and how much was this oh 1849 okay now I'm having different thoughts I didn't even what this is a $20 bronzer? Who do you think you are? Just because you put a brush in this and a mirror? It smells really good. But what is this brush? Please explain to me. Like a paddle sponge. I'm sorry, is this supposed to be... Am I supposed to be doing that on my face? Absolutely get out of here. How dare you? So I'm gonna take it on a brush now. It's a nice color. It's like a little orangey, but like, I like how light it is because bronzers on me uh, can look too much because I'm, I have really fair skin. But this looks pretty nice. So for blush, I'm really, really excited to use this. Um, this is by Neutrogena. This is the Healthy Skin Blends Sheer Highlighting Blush in the shade 20 Pure. And um, I went back and forth between this and a, and a cream blush. And I just had to get this because it just looked, I thought it was gonna be so pretty on. These colors all blended together. I thought it was just gonna look healthy, like the name suggests. This was, $14.49, wow, you guys are really, really pushing it. So I'm just gonna take all of the colors, blend them together. Hmm. There's shimmer in that. Oh, I didn't realize these like two colors here are shimmery, so I thought it was gonna be more matte, but that's really pretty. As I suspected, it's kind of messy though. It's like really powdery. Look how nicely that blended and it just like the colors together all just look really nice. Okay, this I'm really excited to try. This is by Burt's Bees. It's the All Aglow Highlighter Stick. And this is in the shade All, oh no, sorry opal mist and i got this because i also see what they're trying to do here how dare you yeah so they're clearly channeling their glossier uh halo scope um but but it only thing is a uh, your packaging's poop brown <laughs> so um this was 12.99 you can tell it's like a lot more cheaply made like it feels like this is gonna like fall out of the tube but anyway let's see how similar it is it feels oh it's heavily fragranced I don't like it but it feels just like halo scope let me grab halo scope so here's halo scope and here's the birds bees this just feels like more quality and it doesn't have a scent let me but let me feel the texture so here's the birds bees And then here's the Halo Scope in the shade Quartz. It has, the Burt's Bees has much more of a slippy texture, but here's the, 
Glossier, so considerably more highlight. It smells like lip gloss, um, but okay, it's gorgeous. <laughs> okay, what can I say? It's beautiful, but also like so is Glossier. But I had to get this just to see what what was up because I'm like when I saw this little like core hydration center I was like okay from the same cover girl line that they sent me the clean fresh these are tinted lip oils and um, I've tried a few of them out just like swatched them when I when I got them and they're all really really gorgeous and I'm gonna use this one in the shade does it have a shade are you serious That's the lip oil, really pretty. These like feel like a true lip oil. It gives like a little bit of color without being like over the top. And I really like it, it just gives like a healthy looking lip. So this is the look, I think, I mean, I really, really love my makeup today and I'm kind of shocked. I don't think like you would ever be able to tell that I was wearing drugstore makeup, excuse me. Everything I used, I'll link down below. Let me know in the comments if you guys liked this style video or and if you want me to try it again some other time um, and what your favorite drugstore products are or like drugstore dupes. I would really love to check them out. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.